Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's have a look at the properties of triangles. There are four different types of triangle. An equilateral triangle, an isosceles triangle, a scalene triangle, and a right angled triangle. We're going to look at the shape properties of each of these different types of triangle. We're going to look at five different shape properties for each of the triangles. We're going to look at the side lengths, the angles, the parallel sides, the line symmetry, and the rotational symmetry of each of the triangles. So let's start with an equilateral triangle. You can see that I've drawn three equilateral triangles here. Let's look at the side lengths. So on an equilateral triangle, all of the sides are the same length. That's one of the key features of an equilateral triangle. All three sides of the triangle are the same length. If we look at the angles, the interior angles in the triangles, that's uh, the angles that are inside the shape, they are also all the same size. And they're also always 60 degrees. So in an equilateral triangle, all the interior angles are the same size and they're always 60 degrees. There are no parallel sides in an equilateral triangle, none at all. Equilateral triangles have three lines of symmetry and you can see that I've drawn them on in dashed lines here. If you put a mirror on one of those dashed lines and you looked into it, the reflection that you would see would be actually what's actually drawn on the page. So equilateral triangles have three lines of symmetry. They also have rotational symmetry of order three. Let's have a look at the rotational symmetry of equilateral triangles. So let's have a look at the rotational symmetry of an equilateral triangle and see why it has a rotational symmetry of order 3. Here I have a slider in an equilateral triangle which I can rotate about its centre. So I can rotate this equilateral triangle through one whole turn about its centre using this slider. Now, with rotational symmetry, we have to ask ourselves the question, as I rotate the shape, through one whole turn, how many times does it look like the original shape? So if we go one third of a turn, the shape now looks like its original shape. So that's the first um, part of the rotational symmetry. Then if we go another third of a turn, the shape looks exactly like its original. And then another third of a turn, and the shape looks exactly like its original again. And you'll notice that we've now done one whole turn and three times the shape looked like its original shape. So that's why an equilateral triangle has rotational symmetry of order three. So to recap, in an equilateral triangle, all sides are the same length. All the interior angles are the same size, they're all 60 degrees. There are no parallel sides. It has three lines of symmetry and it has rotational symmetry of order three. So let's look at isosceles triangles now. I've drawn three isosceles triangles here. Let's have a look at the shape properties and find out why they are isosceles triangles. In an isosceles triangle, two of the sides have the same length. So whereas in an equilateral triangle, three sides have the same length, in an isosceles triangle, two of the sides have the same length. Two of the angles also are the same size. We call these the base angles in the isosceles triangle. Now you can normally just have a look at the triangle and, and see which these are. If you look at the orange triangle on the right, um, you'll see that the base angles are actually at the top. So that word base angles can confuse people sometimes because they're not always at the bottom. 
Um, but if you look at the triangle, I think it's, it's normally quite obvious to see which of the two angles are the same. So in an isosceles triangle, two of the interior angles are the same size, and we call them the base angles. There are no parallel sides in an isosceles triangle. There's one line of symmetry in an isosceles triangle, which you can see I've drawn on as a dashed line here on those triangles. And an isosceles triangle has no rotational symmetry. Let's have a look at why it has no rotational symmetry now. So here's an isosceles triangle that I can rotate about its centre. Let's do one whole rotation of this isosceles triangle and see that if at any point during that rotation, if it looks like the original shape in the original position, let's have a look. So as I rotate the shape round through one whole rotation, does it look like it does in the original position? Well, it hasn't yet still doesn't look like it, still doesn't, still doesn't, still doesn't. And only when I have gone one whole rotation does it look as it, as it did in its original position. So at no point round that rotation did it look uh, like the original shape, so that's why it's got no rotational symmetry. So to recap, an isosceles triangle has two sides which are the same length. There are two interior angles that are the same size. We call these the base angles. There are no parallel sides. It has one line of symmetry and no rotational symmetry. Let's look at the shape properties of scalene triangles. I've drawn three scalene triangles here, and you'll notice that on scalene triangles, all the sides are different lengths. In a scalene triangle, there aren't any sides in that triangle which are the same length as each other. They are all different lengths. All of the interior angles are different sizes as well. So the sides are all different lengths, and all the angles inside the triangle are different sizes. There are no parallel sides, no lines of symmetry, and a scaling triangle also has no rotational symmetry. Let's look at why that is. So as I rotate this scalene triangle through one whole turn, let's look at whether it looks like it does in the original position of the shape. So it doesn't look the same as the original shape here, doesn't look as the same as the original shape here, and it's only when I get to one full rotation that the shape looks like the original position of that shape. So that's why a scalene triangle has no rotational symmetry. So a quick summary, a scalene triangle has all sides of different lengths, all the interior angles are different sizes, there's no parallel sides, no lines of symmetry, and also no rotational symmetry. Let's look at right angled triangles now. I've drawn three right angled triangles here. Let's find out why they are called right angled triangles by looking at their shape properties. In a right angled triangle, all the sides have different lengths. So all three sides of the triangle are a different length. In a right angle triangle, as the name suggests, one of the angles in the triangle is a right angle, 90 degrees. And you can see that I've uh, drawn them conventionally here with a, a square um, in the corner where that angle is a right angle. I've coloured them in red so you can clearly see which are the right angles here. The other two angles in the triangle are different to each other in a right angle triangle. So to sum up, and in a right angle triangle, one of the angles is a right angle and the other two angles are different. There's no parallel sides, no lines of symmetry, 
and also they have no rotational symmetry. Let's have a look why. So in this right angle triangle, as we rotate it through one whole turn, let's have a look and see whether it looks like it does in the original shape at any point during that turn. So as I rotate this shape about its centre, it doesn't look like it does in the original position at all until I've done one complete turn. And only when I've done one complete turn does the shape look like it does in the original position. So it has no rotational symmetry. So right angle triangles have sides which are all different lengths. One of the angles in the triangle is a right angle and the other two angles are different sizes. There's no parallel sides, no lines of symmetry and no rotational symmetry either. To finish off, have a look at this triangle that I've drawn here. The question is, what is this triangle called? Let's look at its shape properties. It's got two sides which are the same length. So I'm instantly thinking an isosceles triangle. But let's read on. One of the angles is a right angle and the other two angles have the same size. Well, if one of the angles is a right angle, I'm now thinking it's a right angle triangle. But on a right angle triangle, remember that the other two angles are different sizes, whereas in an isosceles triangle, two of the angles are the same size, which are what we've got here. Um, there's no parallel sides and one line of symmetry. Well, isosceles triangles have one line of symmetry and no rotational symmetry either. So this triangle seems to have uh, characteristics uh, or shape properties uh, which are related to both right angle triangles and isosceles triangles. So not surprisingly, we call this shape a right angled isosceles triangle. And this is just a one-off special case uh, which you can get. But I hope that you can see that it, it does link together two of the main four types of triangle and their shape properties. That was Properties of Triangles. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.